Greetings and welcome to Epic Battle Cry. Welcome. This is the place where we cut through the crap to bring you the real deal on the gaming industry. Today, Debate. I'm Brent Adams, joined by my meters of massacre, mm -hmm. my tempos of torment, Daniel Kaiser and Tony Grice. What's up, fellas? I like tempos of torment. That's actually that's actually a really good band name. Hang on, let me just make a note to myself. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, tempos of torment. Woo! <laughs> it sounds like a good high school band name. Yeah, it doesn't really like. I don't think it gets out. Well, of the, mentally it get out uh, speaking, I'm kind of still music in high they, school. I think. What kind of music do they play? Uh, death metal. That? Death metal. All right. I'm starting to like them more. Yes. <laughs> that's all you had to say. That's, that's what I'll say. So, yeah, welcome, everybody. It's Friday, August the 15th, hmm. and we are closing out the week here We're on Epic Battle Crime. We're halfway through August already? What the hell? We are halfway yeah. through August. It's crazy, isn't it? Uh, we are going to uh, we're going to finish out the week with a question submitted on Twitter from IS Neko, and uh, that is uh, at IS underscore Neko, who says, at Epic Battle Axe, do you think rhythm games will ever have another mainstream boom or find a steady market instead of staying mostly niche now? The answer is no. Hmm. Thank you for your question. <laughs> See you next week. Check check back with somebody. <laughs> All right. Uh, Daniel. Yes, sir. What do you what do you think? What's you've probably played yeah. uh, you've played more rhythm games than I have and, yes. and I know Tony Tony you've played uh, more rhythm games as yeah. well. So I feel like mm -hmm. you guys are the best people on earth mm. to answer this question at least in comparison to me. Daniel, why don't we do this like a story, Daniel? Like <laughs> yeah, you start you off. Uh, why don't you say a word and then Tony will say a word and then you uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> So, I'll answer this. I don't ever want to say never, never say never. Um, yeah, Sean Connery did that once. Didn't work out. Didn't work out. Yeah, Justin Bieber too. I, you know, <laughs> I, uh, you know, I still go back and play like Beatles rock band and stuff like that. I mean, like to mm -hmm. me, honestly, the rhythm craze, it got out of control because it was so unique and it provided a way, it provided a way of experiencing music that like really never had existed up until then and it did kind of get over suffer from oversaturation um but at the same time the kind of like downfall of it almost seemed a little manufactured in that like everyone was just like oh we're done with that it, it doesn't mean they're not fun to play those games anymore it doesn't mean that that's not fun i still it's just have the, fun it's just that the mainstream audience has has moved past it They've moved past it, well, it was, in that they've. It was, the, it was the saturation of the market too. I mean, yeah. like it, it, I, I it, it was everywhere, and and I get that. But to me, uh, will new technology provide enhanced versions of that, or new ways to do that? Can I do that? Like, uh, you know, I don't know. Are are there ways to live jam with other people? I don't. I don't know. I don't want to say never that it's dead and that that's there. Also, there are other games, and we see Harmonix experimenting with the rhythm-based gaming. Like, you know, what's the game coming out? The rhythm-based the shooter. shooter when they canceled. Yeah, did they cancel it? I guess I don't I'm, know. I think I think they did. Yeah, I think what they was did. It, uh, I can't, or maybe we we're just hoping they did. I I think there's some interesting ideas there, but to his to, to Is Nico's question, you know, it, it it'll mostly be uh, uh you know a niche market that kind of taps into those literally. Uh, but the 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 bottom line for me is I I still think that there's something that could be done, or or when you're involving the artists, everything is relevant, right? So you know me picking up this little pretend Fender bass and playing Beatles songs or Rush songs or whatever is still fun to me. Like, honest to God, I still go back and play those games just because that is a form of entertainment and interactivity that I can't do ever again. So if there's a new band that comes out and I want to play their songs, then the medium hasn't changed the fact that I'm still interested in that type of experience. So I think, I, I still think that there's life there somewhere. Uh, I think as it, as far as it being a cultural craze, you know, people have, you know, been there, done that, but I wouldn't rule it out if there's some technological advancement, especially with, you know, especially with, you know, Oculus and, and uh, everything else. I mean, maybe there's virtual concerts where you can literally play and, and people could watch and I don't know, I, it could be interesting. So, 
I don't want to say never, yeah. but uh, if you think outside the box, there could be some cool stuff there. Just for the I, uh, just for the record, uh, Chroma is Chroma, the uh, the it. rhythm first person shooter from Harmonix that we were talking about. It has not been canceled, I don't think, but they ha- but Harmonix has said that the game is going uh, to get a pretty substantial overhaul over what it had been uh, prior to the release. I think that the is I it still rhythm based? Of, so so where it was stupid before, it's going to get an overhaul <laughs> to not being stupid. Uh, well, that, that's that'd unfair, be great. though. That'd having be a great not played it, if you could I mean, don't that. you think that's unfair? I think that I think what we're no. thinking of is they. <laughs> canceled uh, I think they canceled an Xbox One project uh, s- something that was going to involve Connect on Xbox yeah. One mm. that's well, what anyway, they canceled I think Yeah I I'm 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 pretty much with DK on this like I do think that uh, I, I I think definitely we'll see these types of games make a comeback at some point, you know, in the future. Now, how long that takes? But is it going to be like uh, another what, what generation? You, you know? Yeah, I, I sort of think that if it like, does, if like when Zeely is, you know, like in her teens. Uh, Z, what, what, and, and like Lily, like, like your daughter, Daniel, mm-hmm. like when they're in their teens, like then there'll be another big rhythm game. I, I don't even know if it's that. To me, it's to to me, it really has doesn't have so much to do with like the age or how far. Well, it's just to forget. Oh, I gonna, think it's got to be a new generation because they have to either forget or have no memory of how incredibly shitty it was. Why for do us. you say? Why was it shitty though? I, I to me, it was fun. Like, I, I, why is it shitty? Like, why do people think that that was shitty? I, I think it was just I think it was just incredibly lame. Like there was nothing about it that seemed cool or fun or appealing to me. It just seemed lame. Well, well, see, but that, you're, you've already put yourself fun. out of the audience that really enjoyed it. So I mean, you 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 know, that's I'm I'm probably the least qualified person so, to comment on this because the reason the reason I, what I was trying to say a second ago was the fact that I do think that you know a technological thing like what DK is saying, which I think you could actually argue that you know we have some new technology, yeah. you know, in terms of like better. You, you look at something like Connect, which is universally you know Stupid. not necessarily a, oh. a huge success, but you know there are things like that. Like what what if you could sit in front of your Connect Connect and play the drums virtually yeah. rather than having to buy this $200 piece of equipment or whatever. Right. What if you could play, like there were some some demos, I think, you of Connect Virtuoso. stuff where they were playing guitars. Where they were playing guitars <laughs> with uh, like, you know, virtually on, on a, you know, using something like Connect and they just watched where you were holding your finger and where you were strumming. Like there are things like that that could make it maybe come back because I think people would be a little more interested in a game that doesn't cost you you know, a, a much increased entry level price yeah, because a lot of those did to buy the equipment. And and I do agree there is something to the fact that you do have to kind of wait until it sort of runs course. To me, it was all about, honestly, I think we'd still have those games if they hadn't saturated the market so much. Yeah. So much. So fast. I mean, it so much so fast. It was literally in like a three year span. You had, um, you know, you had competing products from different companies. They each had their own equipment. Yeah. Some of the equipment worked, by, you know, between them. You had, you know, literally month after every month, new discs were being released yeah. with like entire libraries of like Aerosmith and whatever. And I mean, it is cool, but they just they if they had sort of spread it out a little a little more evenly and not bewildered people with it, I don't know that it ever would have had yeah, sort of the crash that it had. Type of thing. And exactly. So so to me it is just you gotta give it a little time, let it die down. I don't it, necessarily know if you even have to wait till like you know your your kids get to that age. I think it it could be a few years, yeah. like two or three years. Um and, and we could be in that point where people might be excited to see it again. I do think though that there needs to be it's there has to be a different like I don't think people would enjoy per se the experience we had back then. It, there's got to be an, an improvement. Like it's got to be I don't know. There's got to be some extra element to it, like the 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 equipment or something. The has connected to be, concerts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I mean, playing playing on the cloud, like playing across, you know, playing playing over the internet, being able to play. You know, you could do that with I think the last generation of maybe rock band i want to say maybe maybe i'm wrong on that but like i feel like there was one you could play with friends across the internet but but even if you could like that could be a thing like you know daniel wants to play you know with with his brother in new york you know and right. they could play play that game together over the internet but you know the the technology is getting there where we maybe have some new things that make it make some new options available to us that weren't uh, well, either as good or available and, before and, and that's what i'm saying like i mean you know I'm a huge Rush fan. I'm a musician, and and I know you, I, Brent. I get the sense that you kind You're of dis, dis, <laughs> that you discredit it because it's like fake musicianship. But I mean, 
I, I don't consider myself to be in the military or to be a space marine, and I still enjoy, you know, it's games not, like Destiny that, or so, whatever. It's but. not that so much as it's just like, if you want to, like, listen to your favorite songs, let's go listen to your favorite songs, you know? No, like, it's you a don't, totally... But you're not just, listening to no, your favorite. No, you're, you're, you're interacting you're with them. With dollars on plastic instruments to enjoy your, no, your, your favorite music. No, I am telling music. you, when, when I play the Beatles rock band, even no matter how many times I play it, it is extremely fun for me to experience music that I love in a way that is different than just listening to it. It's yeah. not like it, it. It's not quite obviously. It's not like learning how to play a song on the guitar, which I've done, and that's very fulfilling. But to have the interactive experience of playing Beatles Rock Band, or like I said, Rush. I mean, they released Moving Pictures as a as a full album via Rock Band, and you know, we say the craze is over. I would I would pay decent money to to play Hemispheres or Permanent Waves, the whole album, anything from Rush. Basically, I would love to do that right now, today. I would but, rather do that than play Destiny or whatever else is coming out in the next couple of months. So, I mean, but there's a social. There's a social aspect too. I mean, like you know, there's a thing where like, would you like to play with, say, four of your friends? You want to get together and and you know and play some sort of game. I mean, if you could play that, but not all of your friends know how to play an instrument, that that's a game that I think could still be fun for people that aren't necessarily Musicians. musically inclined. Yeah. That, that, that you could, yeah, but admittedly, you know, I, I think, unfortunately, it's just a, a type of game that I know you're not crazy about, but I mean, it just, it just know, doesn't appeal to me on any level. Yeah. How much have you played it though? I played, I played a lot of, he, like, yeah, I, I will give him, I will give him credit. And I, I know he's given it a shot, but it's, I will say though, I do think that, well, I don't I mean, know, just the, the direction you come at it from to me seems a little like you're coming <laughs> at it from, I think you want it to be something that it's not, rather Did than you ever play Rocksmith? taking it for what it is. I guess I don't know. Uh, you know, I haven't. I, I keep I keep wanting to to try out Rocksmith. I just haven't invested in. You know, you got to have yeah. like a like the USB cable, like plug into your guitar. Yeah, I so desperately want to try out Rocksmith because I, that like, legitimately teaches you how to play. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and like I I think that that's like a, like a cool idea, like in general. And I understand it's a completely separate thing from what we're talking about. Sure. Um, but I, I think Rocksmith's like a like a totally dope idea. I love the idea of gamification for like practice and and you know like teaching yourself like, yeah, you know, totally. like better technique and and all that kind of thing. I I really I really dig that uh, that idea. But I understand that that's not that's technically speaking not a rhythm game. Right. But uh, I don't know. It's just it's it, like like the thing for me like with rhythm games is just and and like you know you're talking about like a. Uh, uh, you know, like get it together with like four of your friends and like play one of these games. Like if I could put together like four of my friends that actually had the same taste in music I did, like that would be f- a fucking miracle in and of itself, you yeah. know? And, and it's just like my taste in music runs so counter to what most of these games emphasize. You know, Guitar Hero notwithstanding, because they had like, you know, they had like, you know, Aerosmith and, and Metallica little, yeah, and, and stuff that, you know, that, that I do listen to. Yeah. Uh, but uh, most, for the most part, my taste in music runs so counter to this stuff that, like, the things that they kind of like, you know, put out there in front, it's just like appalling to me. Well, I, I'm me, just like, like but, the mere fact that this music exists saddens me, but, and the let, fact that you're finding you this, a way though. to charge people even you, more money for, for if, it. If you bought it just the devices, though, Brent, makes me livid. If you bought the bass and or yeah. bought the guitar, and you can pop in any CD. And it would, the technology was advanced to the point where it would read the CD in the same way that when you pop the CD into the CD player, it like knows what CD is, tells you what song yeah. it is. But it would read. I think there actually are some like, some, I think there's some homebrew things. Yeah, that there do are some homebrew like things that, that do that. But w- would that be more appealing to you if you could pop in Entombed or somebody like that <sighs> and be like, oh, cool, here's the riff, and I'm going to learn how to play this really cool thing in this environment? Would you be interested in that? Uh, you're, you're saying that this is still like like using like the virtual instruments uh, for like rock band or something like that. Correct. I, I don't I don't think so. I mean, I think if I wanted to listen to Entombed, I just I just you know listen to Entombed. So you just don't like the stereo. experience of it just playing it. In, in, in terms why, why of why do you, in, you in, keep, you keep saying like, like why you just because it's not like about the, listening to the music. It's about matching what you're doing to the music. It, it's that, not you that know gameplay does nothing for me. Mm. Okay. Interesting. Hey, well, it's a, it's a good question. I mean, yeah. I think it's a, I think it's a just, fair question. It just I, I, doesn't appeal to me. It's just, it, you yeah. know, it, it's like, you know, press these buttons in kind of near time to the beat of the music and, you know, all this. I mean, it's, it's basically just, it's just like a dexterity thing. I, I mean, basically what these games are is, you know, like fucking Simon set the music, you mm-hmm. know? 
and it just I don't know just like what it is that you're being asked to do I don't find interesting like I I can I've I never can sit there and do Simon, it. The is, is, that, is there any rhythm game other than like I mean taking a set like like I don't like the rhythm uh, game like a DDR or something. I'm trying like, to think of just something that's like you know like in in uh, Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, there's like a few like rhythm bosses and stages and things like that through the game. I don't like those either. It just doesn't yeah. appeal. It's just like you know, quick. You know, you know, just do Simon says. Like just do what I'm doing. You know, in time to this beat, I just don't find the gameplay compelling. It just—I don't know—it just doesn't interest me. Do you have mm. you? Do you have any rhythm? I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, the first time I ever played, I ever tried to play rock uh, or a guitar hero. I really found myself at a disadvantage because yeah. I play guitar and it's like I'm yes. sitting there like trying to like you know like like go to the beat well, like you know just like what you naturally would do as a musician. Yes, and that's not what the game wants you to do. Like like you, the game you know, does not want you to be. Like on beat, like you know, it yes. needs you to like you yeah. got to match like what's on screen, and not I, like kind of what your what instinct you're saying, is. And that's what part of the game is. Yeah, that's yeah. I mean, that, that's part of the thing is it's trying to sort of trick you. It's like those little puzzle games you play in arcades yeah, where you yeah. have to match the blocks up. Like right. they they set the music off well, to set you off from and, getting. And I, I will sympathize with you on this note, pun intended. Oh um, god. I hate playing the drums on any of those games. Like we oh, bought, yeah? we had the drum kit and friends would come over and play and we'd drink and just stay up all night and play games uh, and play songs or whatever. I can't stand it because it is exactly what you're saying. As a drummer, I'm like, I want to actually drum to this and it won't, and I can't. It, it won't really do it with any level of authenticity. So I yeah. can understand you're, you're primarily a guitar player. So I would Man. understand th- that. Whereas I am primarily a drummer. I dabble in guitar, I dabble in bass. And so those things are fun for me to do, but, um, uh, interesting. It's a good so, question. Maybe that's the thing. Like, maybe I should try like doing like the drums yeah. on like, one of these things. Yeah, like, that's, maybe, I was about to say that. Maybe, like, like, maybe that, that might would be more enjoyable. But right, right. You know, but it doesn't sound like you kind of enjoy just that that mechanic no, as a whole. My, so uh, you know, it may not. My cynicism on it aside, I get why these are popular. Like, I get the social aspect. I get you know that people you know get like, together, you know, they go to a party, beer, hang out, they, and yeah, have, they hang like out, they do this. On a different that's level. exactly what I was about to say. Pretend like they can play music. Exactly. It's it's like karaoke, but you know your friends aren't just sitting there watching you they're they're kind of participating too everybody's kind of got something to do yeah and, and, and that's the thing like, like i don't know like, like for me and you're a team i just yeah it just i, I like i said like if, if i want to if i want to listen to music i'll listen to music if i want to hang out with my friends i'll hang out with my friends if i want to do karaoke i'll do that but like there's just so, like this experience like even though it's like got even though it kind of like bleeds over into things that i do enjoy right just something about the experience itself just i don't know like it, it just it's just not fun. Like I just I don't get why it's fun. I, yeah. That's it. Okay. In a nutshell. <laughs> but anyway, what was fun was <laughs> listening to you guys uh, talk about this while I sat here and played uh, A Link Between Worlds on my 3DS. Ooh, nice. And thank you so much. Why, why play A Link Between Worlds if you want to have an adventure? Why not just go outside and <laughs> go climb a mountain? That's not what it's and, about. Um, <laughs> I asked Neko, thank you so much for your question. Is it if Neko you or have Nico? a question that you would like us to answer on a future episode of Epic Battle Cry, if you got a news story you'd like us to uh, comment on, a topic that you'd like us to discuss, hit us on Twitter at Epic Battle Axe. Check us out on YouTube.com slash Epic Battle Axe. Sound off on EpicBattleAxe.com if you're a member of the Axe Head Army. We're going to be back next week for a whole new round of shows driven by your questions, your suggestions. Thank you so much for checking us out. Please like this video on YouTube. Subscribe to us on YouTube. That Mm. really, really helps us out. Mm. We'll be back, as I said, next Mm. week. Until then... Cry Havoc and let your voice be heard. Driven by Toyota. We don't get yeah. any money for that. <laughs> God, I wish. <laughs> get some of that Driven Toyota. by Honda. I'm just going to shoot shoot out a bunch of names and hopefully somebody will pay us. And, the Lord and, and somebody like at Honda is like, oh, crap. Are, there, are, are we, we okay, yeah, just send them a check. Send okay, like a freelance form. It's like, hey, we, uh, we mentioned, uh, we, we plugged Honda on the show this week like we were supposed to. Here's our bill. Yeah, <laughs> we hey should guys, just start doing that. Just, start, just contact like, him, like, hey, yeah. so per our contract, hey, it's okay. Con- uh, we won thirty million dollars, but there you go. We we did here. Listen to the end we of the episode. F- we did fulfill our end of the bargain. Yeah. <laughs>